Good morning, Chuck. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Start off with, have a layout of old gauge train set. And started at about, uh, oh, I'm going to say, gee whiz, 30, 35 years ago to build this. And I kept, uh, I started out with a small sheet of plywood. And uh, the trouble was, uh, I ran out of space and they had to keep adding. So what I did is, uh, just kept adding as much room as I could down here until I got really what I wanted. Now I, I don't have any place else to go. And uh, I run about two of them at a time. That's the controller for both train, this, sets of yeah, trains? Yeah. This controls everything. And I kept adding little things like the houses and the bridge and the tunnels. And uh, just kept just kept going and going and going and you know, ever so often I would uh, I would add something. To the point where, well, today I'm at this at this point, and I don't have any place else to go. No more room, and everything is full. I got all my houses back there lit up. Those are individual houses that I would buy one ever so often and just add. And um, uh, I got about, uh, oh, maybe 11 train sets. But only, I'm only to a point where I can run two at a time. And I got an inside track I run once in a while, but not very often. So, uh, you what I noticed, the houses that are lit up right now are mostly in a winter scene, right? Right. I got a winter scene back. It's, it's, I got snow on the ground back there, and it's all winter stuff. Yes. And uh, out here, it's basically... What, spring, summer, or something? I still okay. see green, so we'll go with spring. Yeah, good enough, good enough. Now tell me, what scale trains are these? Oh, scale, oh. One other scale above this, and that's the big ones you run out in the yard. And, uh, but, uh, they, uh, it was fun in the early days. I'm getting, I'm slowing down now. I'm coming down here and playing with them. But once in a while I get bored and I come down and I do it. Now, that's a pretty elaborate controller. Yeah. Set up right there. Yeah. And I see how well you have it labeled all the way through the alphabets. Yeah, yeah. What, how does that work? Well, these are all switches. And uh, I got that many switches on my layout. Okay. Three, four, three, 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 three. What about 25 switches on the layout? And I, I noticed you even have passenger cars yeah. here as well. Yeah, it's Amtrak. Uh, Amtrak, that, that is Amtrak colors, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the one running now is the New York Central that on the top track was there? so popular. Yeah. Oh my. And this is a typical brake uh, engine. I'm gonna walk over 
Go right in. Yeah. Winter time scene right there. Go right in. Slowly and show some Good of the track while I'm doing it. This is a really nice setup, Chuck. Yes, it is. It took you how long to do this? Oh, I did. Been doing it about uh, oh, thirty some years. Could be longer. Gonna get that winter scene. These are the houses in the winter scene, the snow, and it looks really, really, really nice. This is a lot of detail. I, I, I mean, you can tell. Yeah, I just find it in the in the in the in the Each one is lit up by itself. Easy I mean, for you to say. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's just, at nighttime, it really looks neat. Thank you, Bob. Now, this is the train yard right here? Yeah, yeah. That's my train yard. And, uh... So, you just kept adding and adding? That's all I did, Eddie. Every so often, I see something I want, I would buy and add to it. And it took me a long time to add everything. I mean, uh, we would go shopping, i see something, and I would buy it, bring it home, and then install it. You don't see many people doing this anymore. I know you don't. Now, because the equipment, the train equipment and everything, the price of them has really gone up. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, it's to a point where it's hard to buy something anymore because of the price. Engines are running about three, four, five hundred dollars. And uh, I imagine you have some pretty unique pieces in here that you couldn't find if you tried that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now, how many sets can you run at one time? I know you only have the two running. Yes, them, but I, I can run three, but the third one's shut down right now okay. because of wiring. Okay. But I can run three at a time. Wow.
Okay, Chucky. Anything else you want to cover here or talk about the train set? Nah, basically, I, I started like, oh, uh, I'm going to guess about 40 years ago, and maybe a little longer, when I saw something on the road one day, and I said, I think I'll buy that and start something, and I did. Started out with a, a four by six plywood board, and uh, it really was not large enough. So what I did, I just kept adding on every so often, and I ended up with filling the whole basement. I don't have any more room to go. So this is what I have, and this is going to be the finished product as far as the layout goes. And I got about, uh, I don't know, 15 engines to run on it at different times and uh, I have a, a yard there where we pull in trains and work on them and so forth on the inside and I have my house back there where the scene is a wintertime scene. I got the snow, snowmen and the houses lit up and out here is the uh, summertime scene. So I got two separate scenes on the track and uh, the, it just, it's fun to come down here and play with them ever so often. I don't do it as much as I, I used to, but there, there's times when I'll just walk down and turn them on and run them. And I still enjoy them. I, I like the detail you have, like this crossing right here. The lights will start blinking as soon as the train comes through here, yeah. which I think is really, really nice. Now the other one's on a different track. Look at that. Yeah. That is pretty neat. Yeah. A lot of little stuff on here you you really have to look to see, but uh, I got I got a I don't know, I just got a lot of little stuff that adds to the set. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of detail in here. The bridges, the tunnel. Yeah. The, I, I love the snow scene. I, I really do. Yeah. The, the train yard itself. Oh man. But it, oh, like man. I said, Ed, it's it's enjoyable, enjoyable to come down and and run them every so often. Imagine how surprised a kid would be, a child would be. To walk in here and actually see this in action. We had a neighbor, uh, had a, a, a boy, and he would bring him over here so often and he would run him. He was five years old and he learned how to run the trains all by himself and he would just come over and knock on the door and say, Mr. Updegrove, can I play with the trains? And he'll come down here and he'll run them himself. Man, so uh, that's you know that's what you get. That that has that's to be enjoyable. Like, that has to be a thrill for a youngster. Oh, it was. Chuck, you got a lot of work in here and a lot of detail, and this camera is not doing it any justice. Look at the pole car. Yeah, right there. I mean, that's that's an elaborate setup. I'm totally impressed. All the way. All right, Chucky. Anything you want to say? Nope. That's uh, that's about it. I'm, you know, I. Have you seen anyone else with anything that'll match what you have set up here? No, I haven't. No, not in a home. I have not. Yeah. No. But that would be hard to do. Yeah. Well, Chucky, man, I appreciate you taking the time to show this to me. This is this is really, really wonderful. Well. Like I said, you're welcome to come back anytime you want to and take more pictures or wherever you like. You did you did an outstanding job, Chuck. Well, I mean this is really, really good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Eddie.